a pretty little girl. Yeah. But she's, really? she's, Aww. I don't know how old she is, but I, I remember seeing her like about five years ago. Oh, okay, so. yeah. She's not, so she's not old, but maybe eight, eight or? Yeah, okay. Aww. Okay. And she's oh, just my huh. goodness. Yeah. Just presses like. Yeah. Oh. Really sweet. Oh. Oh. Yeah. We have a male tabby. Oh, really? Yeah, a mackerel tabby. Bobcat's Playground. For a lot of us, brushing your cat might be a great way to keep back dust bunnies or maybe just prevent hairballs, but there's a lot more to it. And coming up, we're going to find out about all the benefits of brushing your cat. Do you need to brush a cat and how do you assess how often you need to brush a cat? Often, for okay. several reasons. First of all, it makes the coat shine a bit and um, it removes some of the dead hair, which helps the skin breathe and then the cat will feel better. And also when you brush the face, it releases the pheromones, which are very calming to the cat and soothing. And uh, they really enjoy having to be able to smell that. So brushing the top of the head, the size of the cheeks here, underneath there, that, that will all release the pheromones. And I do that going into uh, people's homes and I do that to help reduce the stress. In my pet sitting service, I brush cats to bond with them. I brush the cats to make them feel a lot calmer. If they've got a lot of loose fur, I'll brush that to, you know, just to do a bit of grooming. The thing what the brushing does, it bonds you with your cat. And especially when you brush around the face because it releases those friendly pheromones that calms the cat down and makes them feel good. And he or she will associate that with a brush which gets associated with you. And so when the cat feels good when you're around with the brush, uh, they start feeling good around you without the brush. That's right. why you do it all the time. A daily is great if you can. And you have to go, always go slowly. Some cats like to be brushed, some don't, some are okay with it. I, I usually just hold the brush out to them and then hopefully they sniff it and maybe wipe their face with it. And then you can start doing a little bit. Go slowly, short increments, mm -hmm. and keep your eyes open, respect your cat's wishes. You can brush him when he's just laying there mellow and you're scratching his head. You just rubbing his head and you just trade places with the brush and go slow. Right. That. My, yeah. my cat's like that too. Yeah, if start brushing him when he's just in a, you know wandering around, he's gonna start attacking that brush. And, and that's okay, I mean, it's not, it, it, you don't really want that, but I, I don't mind the cat attacking the brush sometimes. Sometimes at that point, I just put the brush on the ground and let them rub up against themselves. Sometimes that will work. Yeah. Like anything else, you're, you stick a brush around a cat, you're invading that space. You need to be invited into that mm -hmm. space. It's very similar to when you first meet a cat. You hold out your, your hand and let them smell and let them make the decision. Decision. Should you brush your cat's teeth? Well, you can, but you got to do it all the time. You have to do it every day. Right. Um, whether, whether it really helps in the long run is hard to say. I don't think it does loads. You want to see, it's just got a little bit of tartar buildup. Oh, okay. Just yeah. starting right there okay. and a little bit of gingivitis there as well. Okay. If you're worried about a cat's teeth, the raw food is a good food to feed because it turns your mouth, uh, the mouth more acidic. So the pH is lower, which gets rid of a lot of the bacteria that causes the buildup or tartar anyway. Do cats need to be bathed? Not as a rule, no. They wash themselves. They're pretty good at cleaning themselves. If they get parasites on them, like fleas, you'll have to bath them or, you know, some oil or something that's gotten onto them that they can't handle. Sometimes you may have to spot bathe an older cat that can't has got arthritis and can't reach around to their legs or what, what have you. Uh, a, a young, middle-aged, healthy cat shouldn't because they clean themselves constantly. Right, yeah. They're, they're a lot cleaner than what we are. Yeah, that was that was my thinking around it. We've been making a few changes around here to make the place a little bit more fun for Bobby, and you're going to find out about that in the next show. Like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell. Don't miss an episode of Bobcat's Playground. Help us change the world one cat at a time. Hey, Bob. We've been making... <laughs> Podcast Playground, produced by Edit Extreme. 
The opinions expressed are those of the participants and are not intended to replace professional advice. Find out more at editextreme.com.